Hi everyone, my name is Emma and I'm going to be doing a presentation um, that ties back into our last subject analysis that we wrote last week on hierarchy needs and information. Um, this time instead of it being about Walmart and that corporation, I'm actually going to be doing one on an arts and crafts department. So as with any corporation, there's going to be different types of management groups, whether that be Walmart or an arts and crafts department or really just about anything. And there are three different types of management groups. This is operational management, middle management, and senior management. So in this specific scenario or example for an arts and crafts department, operational management, these are like the base people. Um, they're recreation aides in a Walmart setting. They'd be like the cashiers and things like that. Um, in middle management, I would call this the department manager. And then senior management, I like to call the boss's boss, um, just because they are at the top of the chain or whatever you'd want to call it, um, and they just manage everyone. So who needs to know what? Each management group has a set group of information um, that they need to know in order to fully perform their job. Um, some groups know information that other groups don't need to know, and some groups share information with others. So I want to start out the very bottom operational management. They really only need to know the basics of the job in, in order to be able to fully function and complete it. Um, so for example, they need to know project information. Again, in an arts and crafts department, you're going to have classes and you're going to have people bringing in different projects. So you need to know the information to complete the class. So what class are you doing? Who's going to be attending the class like that demographic? Um, how to actually teach the class, things like that. And in terms of projects, if a customer brings in, say, a picture that they want framed, you need to know the customer's contact information, what all exactly is going in the frame, the type of frame, the size of frame, matte color, um, how they want the matte cut, everything like that. Um, they also need to know knowledge of the point of sale system. They need to be able to make transactions because, as I said, they are going to be dealing with the customers primarily. So they need to be able to check customers out, whether they're paying for a class or paying for a project and things like that. So the next step up from there, that would be middle management. Um, so they need to know the same stuff as operational management with project information and knowledge of the point of sale system. This is because if operational management is understaffed or anything like that, they need to be able to step up and kind of fill in that role. But some information that they need that operational management doesn't would be employee information, birthdays, social security numbers, um, just things for paperwork. Um, they need to know basic finance information, so funding, things like that. Um, and they also need to know paperwork information, but not all of it. Then finally, you have senior management. So they don't need to know point of sales systems or uh, project information just because they don't deal with that. Um, in this case, a department manager, they're going to be managing the arts and crafts department, but they're also maybe needing to manage an auto hobby shop or an outdoor recreation department. So they don't need to know the very fine details of each department. However, they do also need to know employee information like middle management, and they also need to know um, everything there is to know about the financing and budgeting information, um, because again, they're dealing with everyone's money, things like that. And they also need to know all the paperwork information, whereas Middle management only needs to know some of it. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you.